Hey everybody, it's Christopher Hoisington. Susan just ate a cricket. This is Susan. She's a, what's known as an anole, a brown anole. They're not native to the southern states. The green anole is native to the southern states. The brown anole is from Cuba and has made a transfer from Cuba to uh, the southern states and is now competing with the green anole in the states for food. And the brown anole seems to be hardier and uh, better adapted than the green anole, but they seem to be living side by side fairly well. But yeah, that's Susan. She's one of my pets. And you're watching the Art Life video blog. Jacob Wolf is in uh, Jake uh, <laughs> is in Denver with his family. He's done a couple of interviews from there. I hope you've seen those. But he asked me if I would do a little installment. And honestly, I just got done with school this week. Uh, Thursday was my last day, and the term went very poorly. Uh, I spread myself way too thin. And uh, what am I going to do? So I was exhausted, and I've been sleeping most of the last couple of days, frankly, and uh, when he asked me to do this uh, <clears throat> video blog, I I really didn't have anything set up, but I figured, you know, this is what I got going on in my life, that's, uh, that's my dad back there, I don't know if you can see him, but that's a self-portrait that he made, uh, That's my sister and my mom and uh, my nieces, and my sister. That's my grandfather. These are some works that the girls did, and that's the girls when they're little. It's kind of dark in here. I hope you see all that okay. But yeah, and this is King Leonidas <clears throat> out here. He's fascinated by the crickets right now because. I just fed the lizard, so he's checking them out. King Leonidas, say hi to everybody. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do now that school's out. I mean, we got a lot of cleaning to do. We're going to do the 4th F and Friday on the 23rd of January, which is uh, the last Friday in January, the Triple F. We've got music arranged, we've got uh, several artists who have committed to being there and even uh, maybe providing a little artwork so that we can do a little kind of lottery um, giveaway of uh, certain works, you know. Uh, so I hope you all can come out and check it out. We're going to do the best we can to entertain everybody and have a lot of fun. But... Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. I got this project that was a uh, part of a class that I was in the last this last <clears throat> term. I'm going to call it uh, a nod to quarantine because there's a there's an artwork called Quarantine's Turtle. If you look it up online, uh, you, it's easy to find. Quarantine's Turtle. It's really interesting, but this is kind of a I, I pulled the idea from there and uh, I created this um, fluxus statement uh, around a green turtle, which is what Quarantine's turtle is. So that's probably, I'm going to work on that project this next week and, and uh, just to do something artistic, I need to relax and do something creative. I've been running my ass off for the last three months and I'm frustrated and tired and I'm ready for things to change. I want to do something a little different this next term. I mean, I'm loving this thing that we're doing with this Art Life video blog. I mean, this is the Art Life and it isn't very easy sometimes. It's really hard, you know, and we do the best we can. And I got animals around because they help me relax and cope and they keep me connected to the present, you know keep me connected to what's real in life, which is survival, not money, not uh, paying your taxes, not keeping the people pleased, not working, but joy and life, survival, and depending on each other for uh, 
hope, you know. The animals give us hope, that's for sure. So, uh, an introduction to the animals wouldn't be complete without Sona. And she, you've all seen her before. She's feeling under the weather these days. Where is she? Did I put her outside? Yeah, I must have. She's been feeling under the weather. She got out yesterday. I have her out back. There she is. Come here, baby. Yes, that's the stone. Sona stone. Sona stone. There she is. Hi, baby. Yes. There she is. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. This is the Sona girl. She's so excited. But yeah, there's this gate back here. You know, this is how we go to Safeway. We got a walkway that goes, that lets us go to Safeway. And there's a gate back there. But this gate right here, this got left open yesterday. She gets out sometimes. There's King Leonidas on the outside. He's not an outdoor cat. He likes to escape whenever he can. Hi, buddy. Oh! There he goes. <laughs> Uh-oh. See, she's been erping. She's been erping up. Uh, she doesn't seem too sick. She seems like she's getting better, but... Poor thing. She got out. That's what I was trying to tell you. She got out. I don't know what she got into, but she was playing with another dog. And ever since, she's been erping. So... I've been watching her. She seems okay right now. I think she's getting better, but... She had a rough night. I just don't want to have to take her to the vet, you know what I'm saying? But anyway... I just thought I'd share that stuff with you. And, uh... Let the animals see everybody. And Otherwise, you know... This is a really, uh powerful mode of communication to me and um, I'm really uh, appreciative of your um, support and watching us and I love you all and uh, please come to 4th F and Friday share us like us um, promote us and uh, I love you talk to you soon